I can recall my first shopping experiences when I was around five years old. I went with my mom to the local grocery store to pick up some ingredients for the dinner. When we walked in, the store owner greeted us formally. He knew my mom on a first name basis. I remember he asked me my name and then gave me a candy. What a wonderful experience. It still brings a smile to my face. Later on, during my school years, I also loved going into the local bookstore. The store owner knew my classes, my teachers, my grades. Every time new books came in, he would notify me. I would also get special deals and discounts. In the good old days, the neighborhood stores knew most families personally. Every time we walked into a local establishment, they greeted us and gave us recommendations and tons of discounts. We even bought on credit at times. They knew our tastes and buying habits. And we loved the personalized touch and intimacy of those experiences. Fast forward to today. After graduating with my engineering degree, working in C-level positions in seven countries, and getting my master's from Stanford, I'm living my American dream. I have a great life. But among the many things I miss is that intimate shopping experience. Today, I shop at Whole Foods, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, and many others. It's not a bad experience. I love some of these stores, but it's not like the old days. And just a number, another number. Most of my shopping experiences are controlled by multinational corporations, executive boards, and public markets. Almost all the stores I frequent are impersonal. Even in today's online coupon market, they just don't get it right. The offers are not tailored to me as an individual. How many times have you gotten coupons for the stuff you have no use for? Or you get the coupons after you have already made the purchase. Coupon company Kiani is now worth $4 billion. If you want real personalization, then be ready to sacrifice your privacy. Some very big companies offer personalized ads. So what's the problem with them? If you have seen their CEOs trying to defend their companies in Congress, you already know what the problem is. To get personal recommendations from the technology, be prepared to be followed by hundreds of cookies on your computers and phones. Moreover, these companies try to establish unmitigated control over your data so they can use it for their interest. They have no regard for what you might want to keep private or what feels sacred to you. We cannot go on giving big tech our data because we have seen what happens when they have control over it. So perhaps we can agree on one thing. Unless trends dramatically shift we have a real time personalized privacy invasion. Brick and mortar establishments such as hospitality have another challenge. With my experiences in the casino industry, I noticed that at the table games such as blackjack, the floor manager watches eight to 10 table games, monitoring up to 50 players at a time. The player's win loss information is supposed to drive the coupons or offer value. Of course, if you're a multi-million dollar player, there is a personalized intimate experience. The casino's team will walk you up as a high roller, offer you exclusive dinners, another weekend stay in the suite, or even a ride back home in the private jet. But what about the average Joe like me? Casinos know very little about me. When they give me compensation, for example, for golf, they likely don't know whether I even play golf or not. It's a waste of marketing dollars and it leaves me, the customer, less satisfied. And what about the return and investment of these compensations? Interestingly, many of these executives in the brick and mortar hospitality industry who are driving hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue every day have very little idea of the exact impact of the money they're spending. 
across all these experiences, you can notice a pattern. The lack of that personal relationship, which respects your privacy and makes helpful buying real-time recommendations. As human beings, for thousands of years, people intimately knew who they were dealing with. People had real relationships. Marketing and communication were personalized and they happened in real time. We lost that. It's a pity. How can we bring back the experiences of the good old days? With AI, computer vision, and machine learning. Super sophisticated technologies can provide personalized marketing recommendations in real time without compromising your privacy. We can bring back that warm experience of shopping in the store that knows your taste without compromising your privacy. This is a commitment to the customers which Zillions makes. So how do we do that with Zillions? We use patent pending algorithms that use state-of-the-art machine learning, computer vision, and AI technologies to recognize your physical appearance and buying habits while keeping you, the person, anonymous. That means we don't know your names, where you live, or what websites you visit the most. All we know is what you like when you're in the store, or in the casino, or in the mall, or the amusement park. We don't track you once you're out of the establishment. Zillions enables brick and mortar establishments the ability to provide real-time, personalized marketing recommendations and coupons to their customers. Zillions is sitting on a gold mine of intellectual property. We have applied for six patents and are looking at four more. We recently completed our MVP for the gaming industry. We are now in discussions for several pilot projects. We want to execute our vision and we need you on our side. Now is the time to act. Together we can help make everybody's shopping and hospitality experiences more personalized and meaningful. Imagine a world where when you step into a grocery store or a casino or a hotel, you get the kind of hospitality I got when I was a little girl at the neighborhood bookstore. Imagine a world where every advice or product recommendation helps you make better decisions. Imagine this happening in real time. Imagine a world where personal connections are the dominating theme wherever you go. That's where Zillions is headed for. Thank you.